So Darren, um, very emotional victory uh, back in May in Liverpool, but talk, talk to me about the emotions after this win here in uh, Dallas today. Um, one good point, I didn't cry again. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, was, it was still emotional because this is my first numbered card. I'm used to fighting on fight nights, so it was a big deal for me. And um, to get a win against someone in his hometown, even more of a big deal to me. So I'm really happy for that and uh, can't wait to go again. So yeah, it was emotional, but I loved it same time he put the pressure on early um, did, did you feel at all like you know you, you need to come out in the second round and kind of shift the momentum back he did put the pressure on me at the beginning and um, I said to my coaches after that story I, I, I started slow but I'm the kind of guy that you just put me in the deep end I deal with it I'll swim and find that surface that I'll always come back and that's what I did and I knew from watching this guy previously He's gas tank, you know, he ain't got much good cardio. And I just thought, okay, he had me the first round. My, my, my coach, Paul, said to me, it's okay. Like, if he has the first round, it's fine. Second round, fine. You always come back. And that's what I did. I see him gassing out. I can't remember exactly what happened. I think I caught him with an elbow. And uh, that's how it finished. But I just knew, overall, I just knew the end of gas tank. And that's when I found the finish. As I said, it was an emotional victory in Liverpool. And you came into that fight with a lot of pressure on your shoulders. We, we kind of talked briefly last night about how you could come out, yeah. I guess, not feeling that, but it w did you feel that when you went to the Octagon? No, nah, man, I mean, like my coach Chris says, when that music plays, you, you be yourself in the street, when that music plays, I was myself, you know? This time, I mean, Liverpool was a bit more serious because I was coming off the back of three losses, so I remember I came out focused, straight face, didn't touch no one's hands, but this time I just felt nice and relaxed. I'm in your hometown, I don't care, I still put my hands out, gave one clap and that, and um, that walkout is where I get most relaxed. Um, but then, to say in that, in the first round, I was too relaxed. But I made up for a second round, so it is what it is. Now you kind of look at the rest of the division, you've got two wins in a row now, so that's very big. Like, do you kind of look at the top 15 and uh, try and pick someone off there, maybe? Yeah, man, I mean, I look at anyone. Anyone I put in front of me, I deal with. But it's up to my coach and my management to sit down and say, OK, well, we'll give you this guy, give you this guy. As a fighter, we're not going to say no, but it's all about fighter safety and, you know, give you time to improve and progress. So anyone they put in front of me, I'll deal with. So top 15, top 20, top two, whatever it is, I'll deal with it. In, in camp, like leading up to it, knowing that you're coming into another guy's backyard, does that add any extra motivation for you, or is it just like any other fight? Um, my motivation, it's just normal to me. I just treat it like I'm back home. Like my coach says, I'm in his territory, but if you come in the gym on a Monday night, you deal with him the same way. So it don't matter where you are, the octagon is the octagon. Do you know what I mean? You're fighting that man in front of you, so it don't matter where it is. I mean, they had they cheer for him, they cheer for me. I've dealt with that. I fought in Brazil, I got booze. You know what I mean? They were saying, like, you're going to die, Portuguese. And I was just dancing to their booze, so that, that pressure is nothing to me. You know, I, mean? I have to deal with it, so, yeah. After after the fight, you said uh, you said something along the lines of, "I'm from East London, of course I know how to fight." Like, can you kind of explain? I guess for the rest of the world, you might not know what that means. Like, what did you mean by that? Oh, I'm from London. Everyone knows where London is, but the east part of London. You know what I mean? And we we don't. I'm not saying we go around taking shots like a donut, but I mean like I've got a chin, and that's what we're about in East London. Always repping. So if you know, you know. If you don't know, search it. East London, baby. Cool. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thanks, John.